boy. Uh, let's get this over with. So in my last video, I said that I made that I'm gonna do a video talking about books I made, and uh, some of you want to see it. So I'm gonna show you um, uh, my books that I made. Yes, written and made by Miguel the Tank Engine boy. Okay, yay. <laughs> So let's start with the book that started it all, this one, a Super Mario book. Fun fact about this book is that this used to be my diary journal, like I did, I wrote before I went to bed, uh, how my days, um, been, been, so yeah, let's take a look. I made a few stories, so, uh. I'm not gonna read them all, I'm just gonna tell them the plot. So first we have uh, the first story, which is the toilet, where the castle has a problem with the toilet and Bowser somehow managed to get inside the toilet. So they tried using um, the items from the games, like the Mega Mushroom and the Fire Flower, and the fire flower which ended up burning his butt, is... You can see I was a good drawer. Then uh, they had a basement. Uh, I didn't draw it in. But it says that they were going to the basement to pull him out. Out of the toilet, out of the sewers. Because he got in the basement instead of just going upstairs. And I was weird. I made this when I was 10, like a year ago. So They get him out and Bowser looks too happy. Then he gets reunited to uh, Bowser Jr., his son. So the next one is Luigi's first game, where Luigi is tired of being under Mario's shadow. And he wants his own game. It's basically, I just wrote the story of Luigi's Mansion. And, and fun fact about these next few stories I did... Uh, I did them with two of my friends who were in the class as me in 6th grade. Their names were Matthias and Jaluka. So thanks guys for helping me make some stories. So Luigi's first game is basically uh, Luigi's Mansion. Like They even put um, uh, EGAD in here. Wait, where's the... Yeah, I put EGAD in there to... That proves that it's basically Luigi's Mansion. This one is pretty cool for me. J just look at it, just those black marks. Really make the characters stand out. And I make Miyamoto in there. And uh, Link from Breath of the Wild of the Nintendo Switch and Wii. So, yeah. So he finds Mario, who's been in the picture frame. And then he gets his own game for the, the Nintendo GameCube. Okay, so let's go to the next story, which is book number three, Mario Kart. So one day, the the Mario Bros were at, were at Nintendo thinking, thinking their new game with uh, Miyamoto. And uh, at the time, I liked Thomas as well, so I did a little um, reference. Uh, of this guy, of this guy, I think, or somewhere here, it says, How about a Thomas game? said an idiot. Uh, and everyone says, No, then they j fought, they, they just took a fight. And this guy is in the background, like, Am I on drugs? Yeah, till the Toad gets an idea to make Mario Kart 7, and then um, gets paid. Three thousand dollars. Damn, Toad. Uh, then we get the Nintendo 3DS, which I have with the game Mario Kart 7. Then the next one here is Book Four. Me. So they were thinking for uh. So when they got the Wii, they were thinking of a new character. And I just stopped there. 
so yeah, this was my newest story. I did this when I was in school. I decided to just bring it in for the day to maybe write a new story. And I haven't finished it, and I'm not gonna finish it because I'm lazy. Yay. Uh, at the back of the book, we did like our own little logo books. Trademark. So yeah, that was fun. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one you're gonna see is a published version of the first Mario book, uh, The Toilet. So, uh, bang. You've got the toilet uh, in a book. Just gonna cover that. Too. There we go. So I made, so me and my friends, uh, Matthias and uh, Jaluka, we made a book that was inspired from my other book. So, yeah, that, this book, this book had a, the, the sewer pipe. That Mario came out in the games, but it just uh, by time it ripped off. So, anyways, let's see what you've got. So my friend Matthias actually um, printed this, but I was the one that writ that wrote this. So authors or writers by me and uh, Jaluka. I made him. I made. I put him in there because I felt bad. That he wasn't crediting, so I just put him in. So it's basically toilet with edit stuff, and I'm honestly proud at myself and at Matthias. Like, look, he ma he managed to zoom Bowser in and put him in the pipes. Brilliant. Then he gets reunited with Bowser Jr. And then he made uh, a surprise. Next page is there. Mask to color in, cut and wear, where he literally just took pictures and just uh, made them as masks, which is really cool. So he made a Mario mask, a print Mario mask, a Luigi mask, uh, a mushroom mask, a Bowser mask, and uh, and the star mask. So yeah, thanks my, thanks boys for helping me. Let's go to the next one. So next we have three books of a franchise I invented called The Adventures of Man Boy. Hi, I'm 30, but in his mind, he's six years old. But actually, in my third book, uh, in my third book, this one, he said, he says that, hi, I'm six, but he says, no, I'm 30, as a joke, because, yeah, it's, he's, he's a 30-year-old guy who still plays with toys. It's brilliant, isn't it? So, this one, the first book, is called Job. Now, I made this because I was bored in school. So, uh, yeah, so he's just playing with his toys, his mom comes in, says, find work, but I'm six, you're 30, oh, job now, and I, and I mean, like, you know those, uh, shows or movies where there's this guy that always gets hurt, hurt, yeah, that's basically the door, he just looks sad, because she slammed the door, and says, ouch, I want to die. Let me get the toys cheering because he wants to find work. So he find so he wants a job. He finds he finds one. Uh and says, What do you do? So we have so this guy think is looking up, looking down, and then it says Play toys! You're fired! When you try your best, but you can't succeed. Okay, so then he comes home. He says, Mom, he didn't get to work. Um, she told her, she told him why. He said that he told about well, playing toys. She smacks her head and he just goes away till he gets a phone call from uh, uh, Toys or Us. 
to work in. To work at. Wait, what? Okay, I forgot to do the hair on the other ones. So then he tells mom he got the job. He comes to Toys R Us. And this guy just says, die. Hello, can I help you? Job. Pew! Right. Welcome. And he gets the job. Job. And ends up with, uh, I'm home. And the joke is the, the picture in the background saying, no. Then we got a creepy picture. Creepy. <laughs> so this is man boy one job let's go to the next book which is the adventures of man boy the video game where basically uh he he begs mom he begs his mom for uh for an nes the nintendo entertainment system And the joke keeps going with the other books. So he just decided to go to GameStop and buy his own NES. And then he finds it. And I did like the joke from Legend of Zelda. Where it goes like... You got a video game. So then he goes home and plays the Super Mario Bros. while the door sleeping. He plays as the as the NES just sparks. Sparks. Then I think there's a crack. I think uh, I don't know. Then he then he says, "What the fu Oi! So then the NES comes to life. Life, which he gets a mustache, by the way. And right off the bat, instead of just making him suspicious that he's evil, he just says, I'm evil. Poop. Ah! <laughs> then he tells mom that the game is evil. And then he, and then she's like, wait, you, you go, you bought it? Crap. And he's kills and smacks himself. Can it get any worse? He just comes in. He just comes in looking like. I want to kill these people. And they're like. Can it get worse? Is this a bad timing? <laughs> then they just run. Run. <laughs> Me too. I never. I never run this fast before. Me too. <laughs> Thirty minutes later, it just keeps running, running. Are you sure about? That? I have an idea. Are you sure about that? An hour later, he puts the NES back in the box. Like to return? I would like to return, return Eve. I I mean NES here, please. Pfft. Sorry, you can't return. Sorry, you can't return it. So, another hour later, he comes back home and throws it in the basement. So, then he puts it in the basement. It comes back and he rips the box apart. He comes back to life, he goes to his room, takes a nap. Then the NS comes back. Back saying, I thought he, I thought he put it back in the store. Oh well, idea time. And she ends up selling it online. So we'll never see, we'll never see him again. Huh. The end. Thanks for reading. Bye. Then we have another book, which is New Look, because my drawing skills had got in uh, better now. So I decided when I put it in a book. And fun fact, I'm inside the book. He finds that uh, something gone weird. Apparition. Then, uh, then he comes to... Uh, then he 
then he comes to my house who I'm doing the video game returns which I'm not gonna make because I'm too lazy then he bursts through my house and then and then he says Miguel you have some explaining to do oh hey can I help you why do I look like this improve well do it back why cuz we we look god damn I was a bad speller we look more better like this I see so then uh well yes actually well yes but actually no what I mean who wants to see who wants to see that instead of this then they just take a fight and the same joke from my other book from my Mario book these two guys are like what the hell Then he makes a crowd to bring back the old design into my house. So I have to make the old design again. And he ends up and he ends with this. Hi. You changed the you changed the look. Oh no. Bend. Not again. And ends up getting smacked. Then the joke is Ouch! The end. I was too lazy to the cover. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.